Welcome to the TearSet tutorial video series. This video is part one of a two-part series looking at the use of the Land Change Modeler in TearSet. In this tutorial, you will learn how to do Land Change Analysis. Land Change Analysis is the exploration of land change dynamics between two points in time. The Land Change Modeler, or LCM, is a vertical application within the TearSet software that allows you to easily depict land change dynamics. It includes a large suite of tools that can be used to complete every step in the land change modeling process, from preparing your data, to building the model, to model validation. The Land Change Modeler application can be opened by clicking Land Change Modeler on the top banner of the TearSet window. Notice that there are five tabs in the application. Change Analysis, Transition Potentials, Change Prediction, Planning, and Red Project. We are going to focus on the first tab, Change Analysis, for this tutorial video. When you open the Land Change Modeler, you have the option to either load a saved LCM session or begin a new session from the LCM Session Parameters panel. When you create a new session, you must enter a session name and specify an earlier and a later land cover image. The images used here are for a rapidly changing area in the lowlands of Bolivia. Be sure to specify the dates for the two land cover images. These images are from 1986 and 1994. A quick reminder here. It is best practice to have all files that you will need to use for the Land Change Modeler located within your working or resource folders. You can browse for files outside of these folders, but we do not recommend doing this. There are a number of other options available on the LCM Session Parameters panel as well. You can signify that you are conducting a RED project, include a basis roads layer or elevation model, and select a particular palette to use with your land cover images. However, only the two land cover images and their dates need to be specified before continuing. The land cover images you provide must have the same extent, projection, background areas, background values, and legends in order for LCM to calculate change between the two images correctly. You may have noticed that at least one of these qualifications is not met by the images I've used. Fortunately, TearSet checks for these issues and provides a simple interface called Harmonize to correct problems. My images have three issues. First, the spatial characteristics don't match. The 1986 image has a slightly smaller extent than the 1994 image so I'll choose to adopt spatial characteristics based on the earlier land cover image. Second, there's a background area in the 1994 image that is not present in the 1986 image. Now, I don't want category 1, which is woodland savanna, to be classified as background, so I'll change this value here to 0. The backgrounds will be merged once I hit Run. Third, the legends for the images don't match. Category 1 in the 1986 image is woodland savanna, and category 2 is Amazonian mature forest. However, these two classes are switched in the 1994 image. Category 1 is Amazonian mature forest, and category 2 is woodland savanna. I can fix these issues by clicking Create New IDs. Category 1 is now Woodland Savanna, and Category 2 is Amazonian Mature Forest for both images. Another common issue with legends occurs when one image has a category that isn't present in the other image. For example, you may have clouds in the first image, but not in the second. In such cases, you can simply add the missing category to the legend. Finally, I can specify the output file names for the harmonized images and hit Run. Now, both images have the same extent, background areas, and legend categories, 
and I can continue on to the Change Analysis panel. When you hit Continue, if you have no harmonization issues to fix, Tearset will calculate a set of summary statistics on the changes between the two land cover images. You can interactively explore these changes from the Change Analysis panel. This chart currently shows gains and losses in each category between the two images. You can see there was a large gain in the anthropogenic disturbance category and moderate losses in deciduous mature forest and savanna. You can also explore net change by category and the contributors to net change experienced by a category. The graph now shows that changes to woodland savanna can be attributed entirely to anthropogenic disturbance. The next panel, Change Maps, allows you to map the changes described in the Change Analysis panel. There are options to map all changes, persistence only, gains and losses in a certain category, transitions from one category to another, or exchanges between any two categories. I'll map all changes within the study area. There are seven transitions that have occurred here between 1986 and 1994, listed here in the legend. Some of these changes occurred over a very small area. When working with many categories, there may be more transitions than you want to eventually model. To help narrow down the transitions to only the most prevalent, you can choose to ignore transitions less than a certain threshold. When I use a threshold of 5,000 hectares, only those transitions which occurred over more than 5,000 hectares are mapped, and the number of transitions is decreased from 7 to 2. I may want to only model these two transitions rather than try to model all possible transitions for this study area. The final panel of the Change Analysis tab allows you to create maps of the spatial trend of change. I'll demonstrate with the transition from deciduous mature forest to anthropogenic disturbance. You can see from the output that this transition is primarily occurring in the southwestern portion of the study area. You can change the complexity of the mapped trend using the order of polynomial slider. Smaller orders reveal more general trends, while larger orders reveal more detailed trends. For more information on the Land Change Modeler, check out the Tearset tutorial, which can be accessed by going to Help and selecting Tearset Tutorial. Tutorial Exercise 4-1 will offer more information on the topics covered in this video. Information on other LCM tabs can also be found in Tutorial Section 4.